Hey guys, it's Young Welfare. Now today we're going to talk about something very important about XRP and why this coin here can shock the financial system overnight. And I do mean literally overnight. Now, why am I saying this? I'm going to also bring proof of this video. I'm going to show you guys previous instances in the past history where financial revolutions happen literally overnight, okay? And with crypto and the way it can be adopted, it won't be no different. All it literally says is one bill passed and your asset is now used globally, okay? Now, I'm gonna bring you guys some videos from the past, but before we talk about the videos, I wanna show you guys the price on the XRP right now. As you can see, it's up 8% on the 24 hours. When I last made a video, it's 35 cents, so that was actually a good buy. Now you're up 8%. So at the end of the day, as we can see that, this is this pay price action. We know that XRP is a coin that's going to be way over a dollar, but in the short term, the bear market, we just have to accept that there's going to be a lot of volatility and that's actually actually opportunity for you guys to capitalize if you want to capitalize with swing trades and stuff like that. So now we have that out of the way, right? This is what I really want to get onto right now. I was watching um, a documentary called The End of the Road, How Money Became, became Worthless, Full Documentary Financial Systems, Government Control. Okay, now we have to understand i'm gonna show you this clip but we have to understand that this money system they have it cannot last forever and it's getting worse by the day because they are printing more money out to pay the loans and pay the debt so it's just a never-ending cycle of printing more money to pay debt creating new loans that you have to pay new debt on so you know what i'm saying you have to keep printing to actually slow down the process of destroying the US dollar but there's going to be a time and place where that can no longer happen and that's going to destroy the US dollar and when that happens one or two things will happen right we will either go back to a standard where it's the gold standard and the actual only currency is gold or we will go to a revolutionary method where they adopt things like XRP, adopt, adopt things like cryptocurrency and they use within banks which have less fees and it's very efficient but it can either go back to gold or they decide it's crypto. But I do believe that they're going to decide digital digital currency because having gold is not very efficient when you're just a regular human being in a regular day, right? So at the end of the day, I want to show you guys this clip now and I'm going to add on to what he's really saying in this video, right? So let's get into it, okay? This is far from typical. I think this is the end game. I think uh, what we're experiencing now are the pains of the 40-year experiment in fiat currency uh, coming to a, an end, and it is an absolute failure, not only for America, but for the entire world. Now, that's what I wanted to show you guys, because if you carefully listen, you would hear, you would hear he said that it was an experiment. If you listen carefully, you hear that he said that this US dollar and the fiat currency is an experiment, and he's 100% correct on that, because the only real currency we have confirmed is precious metals, because... Ever since there was actual currency, it's been backed by gold for the most part. Now, this is where I want to go to my next clip, right? And why things can happen overnight in the cryptocurrency um, notion of things, right? And the adoption terms of things. Because this was actually the day and this was the bill that was passed to actually unpeg the US dollar from gold so it could be printed unlimitedly. At one point, the US dollar was pegged to gold. So every US dollar had an equivalent value for gold right so it was pegged so they couldn't just print out more because there's only a limited supply of gold and guess what there's only a limited supply of xrp i want to show you guys a few minutes of this video just to understand where i'm coming from right so the third indispensable element in building the new prosperity is closely related to creating new jobs and halting inflation we must protect the position of the american dollar as a pillar of monetary stability around the world in the past seven years there's been an average of one international monetary crisis every year. Now, who gains from these crises? Not the working man, not the investor, not the real producers of wealth. The gainers are the international money speculators. Because they thrive on crises, they help to create them. In recent weeks, the speculators have been waging an all-out war on the American dollar. The strength of a nation's currency is based on the strength of that nation's economy. And the American economy is by far the strongest in the world. Accordingly, I have directed the Secretary of the Treasury to take the action necessary to defend the dollar against the speculators. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets except in amounts and conditions determined to be in the interest of monetary stability and in the best interest of the So US. this was a revolutionary day for the financial system because what he actually did was pass the bill that 
meant meant the US dollar was no longer pegged to gold. So that means that you could not trade the US dollar with gold. You couldn't trade your. But you have to understand, the world reserve currency is USD, right? And every country has USD now. Back in the day when it was pegged to gold, these countries used to be able to trade the dollar for the gold. So they was trading a lot of dollar for gold, causing America's dollar to actually become like used, overused, and actually manipulated by other countries so they turn off the bill and they turn off the actual system which back go to um to dollars okay now at the end of the day you have to understand this was overnight so what i'm really trying to get, get across to you guys is he passed that bill in the space of a short video he passed that bill to unpeg the us dollar from gold in a short space of time and that happened literally overnight right the the notion of the financial system changed overnight and it changed forever because once they could print money unlimitedly there's going to be all types of problems and they they benefit off these problems in terms of debt in terms of printing money okay now once that comes to an end where they can no longer print out money which eventually they will not be able to because it'll be a, it'll be a terror like the us dollar will crash once all the other lower weaker currencies crash it's like a monopoly the biggest one will crash and the biggest and safest bet for fiat currency is currently the us dollar but once the us dollar crashes and other countries lose confidence in this us dollar they will need another thing and another method to actually have a financial system because the us dollar will be dead right now there'll be one or two things that happen they go back to gold which is highly unlikely because the average person is not going to be rolling around with gold coins let's just get it out of it, right that's a good investment it's a good actual precious precious metal but we need something that's accessible to everybody in a quick space of time now that coin right there is xrp the the one and only digital asset i could feel like could be accessible to people in three to five seconds and i can send it anywhere and on demand liquidity so you don't need to hold a lot of money to have a liquidity because it's odl they can flip the switch and make a video on congress saying that the new bill that will be passed is we'll use um xrp as legal tender in banks and we use xrp for cross-border payments and transactions just like that overnight okay that's how fast it can happen in the crypto system in the in in the financial system because at the end of the day they change their mind about using gold and pegging it to the dollar in the space of a week so when you're talking about the, the speed of the us dollar crash and how bad it's getting in the economy very quickly the us dollar is going nowhere but down they can't reverse what is done because there's too much printed. And if they stop printing, that will cause all types of different problems. So it's either way they go, they can crimp, print more or they can stop printing. Either way they go, it's going to be very bad for the US dollar and fiat currency altogether. So when that happens, they need another alternative. And the closest alternative and a more efficient alternative is the cryptocurrency and CBDCs. And you know that ISO um, 22 coins are actually in this, this category, right? ISO coins are in this category. So you have to understand that when you're holding a coin like XRP, do not be surprised if it actually goes up and spikes over a quick period of time once a bill can get passed. Now, I'm not here to make conspiracies, but I'm just giving you guys the best of both worlds where we have to be aware that things in government happen very quickly. They made a one tr a trillion dollar um, stimulus package overnight, okay? They can pass bills very quickly. So if they decided to pass a bill, which means that cryptocurrency is now legal tender and they're using this in the banks then xrp will be at the forefront of that when it comes to speedy transactions with efficiency and low fees okay even if the economy can improve and save 10 percent of the money that they say they do right now on these cross-border payments it's a lot more efficient than what they have now okay a lot more efficient than swift a lot more efficient than what they're using the banks right now when you have to wait for weeks to get a cross-border payment if they can make it 10 percent more efficient than what they have right now they should take that option but the thing is this is a thousand percent more more efficient so that's the scary part like srp is a thousand thousands of percent more efficient and more cheap than a cross-border payment using the swift system and with that being said that's all i wanted to bring you in this video to open your eyes on how fast that bills are passed and things are actually put in the infrastructure and put in the economy and new laws are passed so at the end of the day you have to stay aware in these markets you're in the market early at the end of the day we don't know what can happen srp might not be the standard but i'd rather be safe than sorry so that's why i invest in SP. that's why a dollar cost average because if it does become the standard out 
even if it does ten percent of cross border payments, it's in a trillion dollar market cap. That's why I invest in a coin like this, and that's why I really talk about this coin and try to get as much people onto this coin as possible. Because when the the switch is flipped, there's no going back. So with that being said, it was Young Wealth, and I'm signing out.